Right now, I am in the middle of rebuilding Newcrest, the blank world in The Sims 4 from scratch. It's a big job so far. I've already done one house and I've also done a community lot, which is a rec center. One of my favorite builds to date, actually. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I'm trying to make the whole theme of this Newcrest more contemporary, Australiana style. Let me know what you think. So we're gonna be building on this residential lot at the back of Newcrest. So my idea for this neighborhood is to have mostly houses, but also a vet there as well, because I feel like I am constantly always going to the standard one vet we have in the game uh, in Bridleton Bay. And I feel like we need one that's easy to place here in Newcastle. So um, that's going to be an upcoming build, but today we're just going to do a residential build. A lot of you guys know I haven't been very well lately for about a month and a half now. And it's meant I haven't been able to make my regular videos and I've just been doing a little bit of building by myself. So this is a speed build, but at the end of the build, we're going to go through it in real time. And I'm going to point out a few extra things that I've added because one of my favorite things about this build is that I got to use the new kits. Uh, well, kit, because one of the kits is actually a creator sim kit. Uh, and that is, what was it called? I've already forgotten. I feel like I've been so out of the loop with all the Sims news. Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up right now. It's the kit that has like library shelves and stuff like that in it. The Sims 4 Book Nook kit. So yeah, there's some new couches we're gonna use. I really love the new couches that came in this kit as well as some modular shelving, which is really handy. And then they also released the Grunge Revival Creator Sim Kit, which I really like as well. Unfortunately, I haven't done a review for those like I usually would like to do, but building with it is, is probably more helpful for you guys to get some ideas. Um, but yeah, this house layout is based off of a house that does actually exist. And it's kind of a popular layout in Australia. I've been saying for this, this whole new crest rebuild. In the past, I've done more like traditional builds merged with contemporary builds in my last new crest save you can download. But this one, I want to keep it very much like newly developed and um, all of it kind of goes together really nicely. It's really cohesive. So I think most people, when they rebuild new crest, they probably go for a more traditional suburban look. Whereas I just want to go for the contemporary vibe. And also because I'm from Australia, I just want to show you guys what the contemporary homes in Australia look like at the moment. And there's a lot of Australian design that is a little bit more historic that I know some of you guys were requesting builds of. For example, Queenslander homes, which are houses in Australia that are known to be on stilts really up high. But I think that's probably a build for another time just because I think houses on stilts in this world will end up looking a little bit funny and I want to keep it kind of more that new contemporary theme. So I will be inspired by some of these architectural movements in Australia that are more historic, but I'm going to give them a more contemporary twist. This one today is definitely more of a like modern inspiration because it's actually like a house with an attached section to it. So the real existing house actually has a garage on the left, but um, obviously we don't have cars in The Sims 4. I thought, well, let's turn that into a studio space. You can use it for whatever purpose you like. You could change it into a, another bedroom. You could have it as a gym, a art studio for your Sims. It's just like a handy extra room for you guys to use. But we're going to turn it into like a yoga studio, which I thought would be nice. And behind that is a bedroom and an ensuite. And recently, you know, homes are really expensive, especially in Australia. It is so difficult for younger people to buy a home. Well, anyone to buy a home now because the real estate is just so ridiculous. Um, so most people will lease homes now. And a lot of people are moving home and moving in with their families as well to help save or because that's really the only option for them. So we're seeing a lot of homes with kind of detached living areas with their own little kitchenettes or um, like houses out the back that are separate from the house, but still on the land that is like a place where kids can live or family members can live and have their own little kitchen and stuff. But um, it means they don't have to, you know, worry about really high lease or 
uh, buying a house themselves or they can save. So this house, I was kind of inspired by that idea, by having a bedroom kind of a little bit away from the main house. And I mean, I feel like my family are definitely not in a position to do that, like to own a place and then have a separate little spot built for family to live. But I'm sure if they could do it, they would love to do that. Uh, but I do know some people whose parents have actually done that, which is really cool. And they actually live on their property with their parents. Uh, so this house also shows like the main portion of the house to the left also shows this new really common thing in Australian homes that are more newly built where there's these long corridors that then go to the back area of the house, which is where all the living is. And I think there's a few reasons for that. Um, but one of the main reasons is because people want to open up to the backyard from the living area. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of houses with these long corridors. Another reason why is because a lot of blocks in Australia are being divided down the middle. Land tax is really expensive now. So living on a bigger plot of land is expensive and people are like, well, we may as well subdivide and sell part of our land because it's too much. So uh, we're also ending up with like duplex homes where they share a center wall. And that's also another reason why there's these long corridors because there's no windows on that center wall. So they turn that into a corridor and have every bedroom coming off of it. And then at the back, it opens up to an open plan kitchen, dining area, lounge room. Australians are big fans of open plan living. Um, it's all about the open plan living. The A lot of Australians love the outdoors because we do have great summers, especially depending where you live in Australia. Um, if you're further up north in Queensland, New South Wales a lot of the year, it's just like super nice weather. So people want to enjoy the outdoor lifestyle. And that's really a very Australian thing to love being outside as it is in many countries, but uh, people do like a backyard in Australia. They do like a barbecue and entertaining and being laid back. So yeah, I felt like that's probably another reason why a lot of things are open plan, lots of light. And I hope like talking about this with you guys is interesting. Um, let me know if you're from another country and you find it interesting, or let me know if you live in Australia and if you agree or disagree. Uh, but yeah, around us currently, there are a lot of houses that look like this and people love big windows as well. We have heaps of solar panels going up on houses too, because obviously the cost of electricity has gone up a lot or the cost of a lot of things. Uh, some people are getting electric cars now. And cause we have so much sunlight in Australia, like we are underneath a hole in the ozone layer. That is why. Uh, skin cancer is such a big threat in Australia and the sun is very damaging here. You'll burn much more quickly in Australia compared to, say, being in Europe. Uh, so if you do come to Australia, make sure you wear sun cream, please, and get enough shade. Uh, yeah, we, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we have solar panels because they're very efficient here to have on your house. And you know what? I forgot to put solar panels on these houses. So I need to go back and like put solar panels on. <sighs> and yeah, it's funny because we have a lot of sunlight. People want to let in the sunlight with these big windows, but a lot of houses are still not very well insulated for the heat here. That's something that Australian architecture really needs to work on because a lot of houses are just like relying on aircon and not the best insulation. I think now you, or recently, you have to, new buildings have to have double glazed windows. I think that's a new thing that, that they're putting in, or at least in Victoria, I think that's a thing. So originally I was going to use the windows from the greenhouse kit, which I really love, but I thought let's just simplify it a little bit more. So I think we're using base game windows. Uh, and then I wanted to have a bit of a fun color on this house. So instead of doing the neutral wood, we're gonna go with this teal color for a little bit of the house. And then your girl loves a brick. So I was putting my favorite, favorite, favorite white bricks there, the modern brick we love. And yeah, I'm also using some of the big windows that I also really like from Growing Together. I have to say, I really loved Growing Together as a pack. I feel like we got a lot of nice build items. We've got a lot of nice gameplay. The infant update's really good. 
So yeah, I just feel like I keep coming back to a lot of those items in the game as well. And I'm pretty pleased with the recent kit items too. I feel like, yeah, I'm really enjoying the items and using them a lot in my builds. So kits are pulling through now, you know? Not everyone agrees with a kit, which I totally understand. But I've got to say, when we're looking at how often the items are being used from the kits, I'm using them a lot. So there you go for the build kits. Uh, and then for this area, I was really struggling with like what kind of doors I put here because I didn't want to repeat the front door because I feel like you have to make the front door to the main house pretty obvious. You don't want like a door to a bedroom on the deck competing with it. Like you don't want people walking into a bedroom instead if they come to your house. So the front door and the entrance kind of has to be a little bit obvious. So I was just trying to figure out what other doors I could use here. And I also like this kind of undercover decking area that you can walk through to the back as well. I've seen that in a few houses recently too. Uh, again, it's because they have like an add-on to the house, like a guest wing. Uh, other people also turn like the extra wing of the house into an Airbnb or like lease it out um, to make some extra income. That's another thing I'm hearing and seeing a lot about too. And in terms of the inside, I decided to go with really light timbers in this house. I love the mid timber color, but I decided to do like really washed out light timber. Carpet in the bedrooms, which I always say I do not like myself in real life. If I was in a really cold climate, I probably would want carpet in my bedroom. <laughs> but here, I don't think you really need it. Like. I'm in Melbourne, which is at the south of Australia, like right, right down the bottom. And that is closer to Antarctica, so that is colder um, than other areas in Australia further up north, which are warmer. And I know for a lot of you guys, it's like the opposite. If you're further south, it'll be warmer. But for us, further south is colder because we're at the bottom of the globe. I'm giving you like a lesson, aren't I? <laughs> and yeah, even still, even though we get like cold winters, we don't go below zero degrees Celsius here, really. Maybe like a few degrees in the morning, but typically not like for that much of the year. So zero degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit is 32 uh, Fahrenheit. So we wouldn't go that much below that. And I don't know, I don't feel like I need carpet. Maybe when I'm older, and my bones aren't as strong, I want that carpet. But right now I'm all about the floorboards. So I ripped out the carpet in our house and replaced it with floorboards, which in real life, if you are wanting to do that, like if you decide you want to take out carpet and put down flooring, beware because flooring in Australia, I don't know what it's like in other places, they discontinue the colors pretty regularly. So sometimes you won't be able to get the exact match of your flooring so make sure you check that out before you lift up all your carpets we got really lucky we could find uh the existing flooring that was here so we like bought a heap and it's in the garage for like future renovations because we were worried it would all run out now these are the new modular bookshelves that are from the new kit really like these and i'm creating a tv area here when we do the final walkthrough of the house, I utilize this a little bit more because I wanted to experiment or show you guys more things you could do with these shelves. Uh, but a classic thing that people have been doing for years in The Sims 4, usually with the cupboards from the kitchen area, is you can kind of create this TV cabinet look. And I'm kind of just doing the same thing with these new shelves because they're the perfect shape and height. I love that we can place things on top of them as well. And I'm also really liking these tiles in the kitchen, or as I like to call it, the kimchin. I'm just gonna check where they're, they are from because I feel like someone's gonna ask for that. Those are from high school years. And we're also using a color palette of this turquoise greeny color. I felt like for this house, a little burst of color would be nice amongst all the like whites and light timber, you know, most of it's pretty light and bright, but we, we like to have a bit of color and it keeps a consistency throughout the house as well, having that color show up in the different bathrooms, in the kitchen, in the lighting above the kitchen. So I think that was really nice too. And once we furnish like the living area and stuff like that, we are gonna have more pops of color too. It's not gonna look as washed out, which 
some of you guys like, um, but some of you guys like more color. So I'm kind of meeting you guys in the middle. And I gotta say, I need I need a little bit of color in my life. I do like color. So we're gonna have some orange, greens, blues, a little bit of yellow in a painting. And at the front of the house, we're going to have a study nook, which is again, uh, where I'm using some of these shelves. Study nooks are another thing that are popping up in a lot of houses. I think often homes that are like smaller and they're trying to create as many things, especially like buying houses off the plan. So an already designed home that a developer is trying to sell to people before it's built, they seem to want to squeeze in study nooks into small spaces. So it's like an extra selling point, I think, or, or just an extra thing to have in your house. And also because it's so many people work from home now or have experience working from home. Uh, or have kids, they, and getting into gaming and all of that. Um, yeah, study nooks are kind of this thing that's popped up a lot more. It's not so much a study room, but a nook. So I did that at the entrance of the house. Typically they would be even smaller than this, just like small and narrow with a built-in desk and shelves on top. But um, ours is a little bit more roomy because it's a Sims and like, I feel like the Sims routing in a small space will just get annoying. <laughs> That's another focus for the new Crest build that I'm doing. I talk about this a lot. I'm at a stage now in my gameplay where I want the game to work well. We have so many packs expansions and if you own a few of them now, then you probably are beginning to experience things like lag and glitches in the game because the game's pretty old now. It's been around for a while. So we, yeah, I, we like to try and make sure that this house is going to have good playability. So we try and reduce the lag by not having too many things. You know, it's not too cluttered so the Sims won't get stuck. They can route around well. I'm trying to think of, you know, your Sims trying to do different things. If you have an infant, is there room to like put their blanket on the ground in the living area? Uh, I'm just thinking about those things a little bit more in this build as well because I just want you guys to download this world and it just feel like really clean and easy and also somewhat of a canvas to make your own. So if you want to change the colors of the rooms you can or and it not be like too overwhelming to change it. So that's kind of where we're going with this and I was really excited to use these new couches. I love these new couches. The only thing is I wish there was a version without the throw on it because if you have two of these couches side by side, it looks a little silly with the same throw because in real life you wouldn't have the exact same throw in the exact same position on a couch. <laughs> so I do wish we had swatches that like took the throw off or moved the cushions around a little bit. Um, so what I would prefer to do is just place one of the couches and then one armchair, which I've done here to avoid that repetition. And I have to say, I really appreciate with the shelves, they did do that. They gave us multiple swatches, which you can see here. So not all the books are matchy matchy. There's one that's like more bright colored books and there's another that's lighter colored books. So it actually looks different and not like repetition again. That chest uh, on the table is from the clutter kit, which is a handy one. And I put a basket of toys there as well because I want this to feel like a family home too. There are kids' bedrooms in this house that are ready to go. So yeah, you can use those. Love that big window out the back. And yeah, we also have a back door that if you walk out, you can access the back area too. And you might want to add in more doors going out that way if you want to. I just did the one door there because I thought for routing I don't know, it would work okay, but you can put more if it's getting annoying. Especially there's like a singular window in the kitchen area and like before you walk around to the laundry, butler's pantry area, and that could be a singular door as well. I'll point that out when we actually walk through it. This would be the main bedroom. So this I kept pretty simple and neutral. Uh, by all means, if you move your Sims in here, I will upload this to the gallery, but if you move your Sims in, then uh, feel free to change it up. It's just like, it's just ready for you guys to move into or place families into basically. And I love that ottoman at the end of the bed. I think that's from high school years. So also um, health update for you guys. I, so for a month and a half now, almost two months, I've been unwell. I have 
being too uncomfortable to make videos a lot of the time. It's kind of like my life took a complete 180. It felt overnight, literally. Like I just suddenly, all the things I've been so used to doing was kind of, it felt like it was just taken away from me and suddenly I couldn't do everything I usually do. Uh, and it's been a really slow process and a big learning process to not have the health that I usually do to do all the things I love. And I've been waiting to see um, a gynecologist. It usually takes like four to six months in Australia to see one. So it's been really tough and I'm really grateful because I was able to get an earlier appointment this week. So hopefully I can actually get some assistance to feel better uh, and not be uncomfortable anymore. So that's basically, I, I don't really have any answers still. I've just had to really put my health first and take it easy uh, and just like trust that I will be back when I can be back. And thankfully I'm able to film today. And I also did a Disney Dreamlight stream as well, just a surprise one. If you guys wanna check that out, feel free to. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry to members that I haven't been able to get the members videos up like usual, but right now uh, it means so much to have the members helping out, um, especially when I can't be making videos for my regular income. That's been a massive help and a crutch for me. So thank you very much for that. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of your love and support too. Um, and I, I tell you, I'm going to be like a changed person when this is all over. Uh, and I'm, I'm feeling back to normal. I can't tell you guys, I've never had an experience like this and yeah, it's been wild. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I am okay. And it's just something that's going to take a little bit of time and focus on my health and it will all work out in the end. This kid's bedroom, just changing the subject, I actually end up putting on the back wall here a blackboard and like some chalk decals on it. That's an idea I got from my good friend Dr. Gluon, favorite streamer. He's so good. <laughs> if you're looking for streamers or YouTube, he's also on YouTube, just like really funny, silly content playing Sims and Dreamlight Valley as well, amongst other games. Definitely check out Dr. Gluon. It's like a kid's show for adults. I love it. So yeah, the bedrooms kind of have different color themes, schemes, themes. Uh, this one's like yellow and blue going for that. And then the other one's like red and blue. And then the main one's more neutrals. But yeah, I like how many different colors there are in this build. For a build that was originally going to be very minimal and washed out, I feel like we brought in a lot of color by the end of it. And you'll definitely see that as we walk through it as well. Just love those couches in the, in the lounge area too. And then here I was like, I don't know what I want to put on this wall. Actually, those walls I think are also from this new uh, book nook kit as well. Yeah, there's wooden walls if you're wondering where they're, they're from. That is also from the new kit. That's a handy, a handy wall. I wish we got more swatches there. There's only like black, brown, dark brown, light wood and white, which is still good, but it's only five swatches. I need more, I need more. And in here, this is the studio I was telling you guys about so they can do their meditation and stuff. And there's also this other little study nook or bar area. You could turn it into a kitchenette for the bedroom or whatever, have your grandparents move in or your, your Kyle move in and stay here, get a roommate. Uh, it's just a handy space to have. But anyway, you guys, let's actually do a tour of the house and you guys can let me know what you think about it. So this is what the house looks like from the outside. It's really, really simple. It's literally just got like one roof across the top. Um, although actually now I look at it, it is broken up into three, but you know, it's the same kind of shape. And then we just have this roof over here to cover the barbecue area. So that's undercover, nice eating area. Very common in Australia to have that. Uh, and then we've got an area where you can do a lot with it. And depending what kind of lot 
you place it on. If it's on a bigger lot, you can really open this up and have a pool and all of that. But so let's go inside, shall we? I've got uh, the pancakes living here. So we go up here and we've got the guest wing or the studio wing to the left, the main door to the right. And then of course you can go straight out the back from the other side. And it is winter in my game, so it's really dark. Anyway, you walk in, we've got the beautiful nook area here. Study through this door is kid's bedroom. Love that with the bunk bed. And I've added these little shelves here. They're not too high up on the wall because a kid would be shorter. It's a nice way to frame around things like the activity table. Just in here, we have a bathroom. Get everything you need. Cruising down the hallway to the left. This is another bedroom. There's the blackboard I was telling you guys about. Books in there. Oh, looks like Bob Pancakes is having a schnooze. And then across the hallway is this main bedroom. So it's three to four bedrooms. Really, you could add five bedrooms in here. You could have quite a big family sleep here. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty spacious bedroom. You can see you can use these shelves as bedside tables as well. You can just put objects on top of them. And then they have their bathroom here and this has a bathtub. So if you have infants, they can be washed. And there's enough room for a crib too. And then down the hallway, we get to our living area. I love this living area layout. And we've got our lounge room with those new gorgeous couches. Here's the TV unit that I said we were putting together. Looks pretty cool. It's a good way to new to use that new kit. Love the ribbing on the couch. And we've got our dining area. Not a lot of privacy on this lot with all the Sims out there. Looking good. And then our kitchen, which wraps around to a butler's pantry in there. Uh, and also you can put these shelves like amongst the kitchen cupboards too, which I really like as well. I thought that was kind of a nice way to use them. So you can put your cookbooks up there. This is what I meant by if you want another door, you could put a door right there. And then round here is our laundry and also butler's pantry. Did I forget a fridge? Did I forget a fridge? I forgot a fridge every time. I don't know. You know, we had like a year where I, I wasn't forgetting fridges and then the fridge forgetting returned. <laughs> I think I'll put it over here. I mean, look, at least at the end of the day, I remembered. Do we want like a colored fridge? Yeah, we'll do a yellow fridge. Why not? And then I think we should shuffle this over. So there's like a gap. You don't want like stove on fridge. Okay, it does have a fridge now. Sorry, uh, Bob and Eliza are probably getting very hungry. And then this is the undercover area. That teal color again popping up. Barbecue area probably hand food out that window. And then the back area, good spot for the kids, pets. Have I sold it to you guys? And if you guys wanna build it at home, this is what the floor plan looks like. Feel free to take a picture of that. And then the roof line goes like this. So yeah, let me know what you think of this build and what kind of build you'd like to see next or any video requests. Thanks again so much for your love and get well wishes. I can't wait to be back fully, but baby steps for now. I'll just post whenever I can. And thank you so much to my beautiful members for your support. It means so much right now. And thank you very much for that. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Tack, tack.